sing God's gonna wipe away all our tears. He gonna wipe the tears. Okay, all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honest to that was Apostle Great Millstone and um, Shalom to all the sincere Akim in the faith of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah. My name is Lamadia and this video will be entitled Cornerstone. So now we see this word appear oftentimes in the scriptures and like oftentimes we'll see this word reference alongside with Yahweh shop so in this video we're gonna break down what is a cornerstone and what purpose that it serves and how does it ties in with Yahweh shop so what we're looking at here is um the word cornerstone on Wikipedia and let's read a little bit from it so now we as you see now it reads the cornerstone also known as foundation stone or the setting stone. It's the first stone set in the construction of a masonry foundation. So that's a cornerstone. So the cornerstone, what it does, that's the very first brick or block or stone that you set to, um, to build a foundation. So if you was building a wall, that first stone, that first stone will combine both walls together, being that it's the corner. Now it says, all other stones will be set in um, reference of this stone, thus determining the position of the entire structure. So let's read that one more time. All other stones will be in set in reference to this stone. Now we read in the scriptures, it reference Yahweh Shah as being that cornerstone. And where where the other stones being set on top of the cornerstone, which is Yahweh Shah. So it says all other stones will be set in reference to this stone. Thus determining the position of the entire structure. Now here's a demonstration on a cornerstone or a God setting up a foundation. And as you've seen them he passed the broom on the ground to, you know, declare the ground so he could lay down his mortar and let the mortar stick properly to the ground. And he laid down his mortar and then you see him lay down that first brick. Now that first brick is the foundation or the cornerstone. And from that brick, that's how they're gonna Struck, that's how they're gonna determine the whole structure for the for the whole wall that's 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 going up, and from that one brick or that cornerstone is how the other courses going up is gonna be the terminal, which represents us. We 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 are the stones. They like are the stones. That being set on top of that that cornerstone, building up that spiritual house. So now this First Corinthians three verse nine. For we are the laborers together with the Most High. You are the Most High husbandry. You are the Most High's building. A husbandry is a farmer, and also and also the Lord referenced us as being a building. Now, verse 10, according to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another build it thereon. But let every man take heed how he build it there, thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh and as you're watching the demonstration, your house shot that first stone. And off that first stone, we 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 building from from that um that, that cornerstone, that foundation stone. 
of that one of that one stone is how the other bricks or blocks or stones is going to be formatted after and that's your how was shot now this is isaiah 28 verse 16 therefore thus saith the lord yahweh behold i lay in zion for a foundation a stone a tried stone a precious cornerstone a sure foundation he that believeth should not make haste and we read what that stone is that stone is Yahweh Shah now let's read Acts 17 24 the most high that made the world and all things therein seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth dwelleth not in temples made with hands because we are the temple and we are the temple being rebuilt it and Yahweh shot he's he being set down as that stone or that cornerstone the first stone that precious stone okay and I read again the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands so the building that the Lord's building is not gonna, it's not an actual physical building. It, it represents us as a people. That's why Yahweh Shah said about he mentioned about destroying the temple and rebuilding it. And they took him they took Yahweh Shah to trial for making that statement, but they didn't understand it because they was carnal. The temple that Yahweh Shah spoke about rebuilding was talking about us. And he's doing that right now before everybody, everyone eyes and having us teach and spread his word. That's the temple being rebuilt. It's closed with Ephesians, the second chapter. I'm going to start at 13. Now, the whole chapter is good, but I'm just going to hit this point in uh, verse 13 and 14. It says, but now in Yahweh Shah, ye who sometimes were afar off are made now. Now, who was afar off? Those are the Gentiles mentioned in the scriptures. Which the Gentiles mentioned in the scriptures is not referencing toward other nations. It's referencing towards Israelite foreigners that had established different settlements in the land of the um, heathen. And they had became nah or near by the blood of Yahweh Shah. Because they were... They, they they part of the inheritance and they also are Israelites so it says verse 14 for he is our peace and how, how he, he's our peace first of all through the blood of Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah brought back peace with the, um, Israel and the Most High through his blood but he also had brought back peace through his blood and when Yahweh Shah returned he's going to bring peace on the earth so for he is our peace who had made both one again he made both one he 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 he, he, he um got rid of the enmity between the tribes from the, the jews that's in the land and also with the the israel the israelites that was um afar off he made them one again and also bring back peace with us in the Most High, making everything back into one. And have broken down the middle wall or partition between us. So that's what Yahweh Shah did. He he's the middle guy. And again, that's what makes him the cornerstone. Because what the like like we show, like like we seen in the demonstration, the cornerstone, what it does. It combines two walls together. And that was Yahweh Shah. So I hope this video was edifying. And again, I'm going to say all oh, praises and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. Ba'ashem Rukha Kodash.